Hi, hello and welcome back to our channel. So today in this video, let's see how to use the lunch module in Odoo 40. So managing food distribution system inside an organization can sometimes get messy. But an efficient ERP application for managing food supply can help. So lunch module of Odoo 40 will help a business to manage all food supply related queries. So th this application can be of uh, great use to organizations that arrange food for employees. The uh, lunch snack serving system of organization can manage employee requirements, orders and delivery with Odoo lunch. Okay, so first of all you have to install your application from Odoo App Store. So when you enter the module, a uh, user can find a dashboard. So this gives a view of orders created by employee. So with Odo support, a user can also categorize food items available. Sorting of food varieties based on list provided on the left hand side is also possible. So uh, here from here we can select a category. So if you select a category, you can see all the orders in that particular category. All the items in that particular category. Then you can also see a vendors list. So we can see the orders of that. Uh, when you select the vendor, you can see orders of that vendor from that vendor. Okay, so first we have to configure products. So for that, under configuration, we can configure create products so here we can see the product name uh, product category that is product group then the vendor then the company then the description of the product and the uh, price of the product we can also filter these products by categories and vendors from here and if you want to create a new product just click create button and you can see a form where we can either provide the product name Then product category can be set here. Then vendor. So you can set a price here. Then here you can see a field that is new only. So this feature provides helpful. Uh, it uh, proves helpful to set the validity of orders for a product. And here we can uh, provide description and company so i want this available for all company so after creating product after filling the form you can save it okay so when you filter it by burger you can see that chicken burger is created then if you want to create new product categories it's please come under configuration and here we can find the categories and you can create a new one from here. Then we can configure vendors for our lunch module. So we already have uh, five vendors. You can create new vendor uh, by just clicking create button and you can provide the vendor name here. Related vendor. Contact details will be filled according to that, and here we can provide the phone number. So this one is really, uh, this one is mandatory, and we can set mail ID, company. Then we can make this vendor available on a specific day. So I can make this vendor available on every day, and we can set some details related to order. We can make no delivery. Then we can set a location for this vendor. So multiple locations can be set. Then we can, it is possible to send order by phone number or email ID. Okay, so after adding details, you can see the vendor. Then we can configure locations from where delivery will be done. So you can see uh, locations, lunch locations, 
uh, push delivery need to be done. You can see office one, office two. So like this way, you can create new lunch locations and add the location name and address and set a company. Then we can uh, see option to configure alerts. So if you want to alert the employees or remind the employees to order food, you can use this option. So this feature will be helpful as chances are high that employees may forget to order the food as they get engaged in office work. So if I set the alert, employees can be will be reminded to order food. So this is useful for the food distributors also as they can ensure timely delivery. So we can set alert some uh, time before uh, order. So here we can set the alert name. And we can set display whether it uh, alert need to be displayed in application or in chat notification. So if you set chat notification here we have to provide the recipients. Uh, to which this alert need to be given, a notification need to be given. It can be set for everyone or employee who ordered last week, last month or last year. And here we can set a location. Uh, so can set location for alert and we can show this alert until a particular date. setting to February 24 and here we can make this alert active and we can alert employees daily or we can set a specific day from here and we can provide a message And after that, we can save it. So you can see the display type of this alert, and we can see whether it is displayed today. So it is displayed today. Then, if you go to configuration settings, you can see some more options uh, for your lunch module. Ah, that is, you can set a maximum overdraft. Uh, that is, lunch overdraft that your employees can reach so maximum can set as here okay, hundred thousand and can save it okay after that let's see how to create an order so let's come back to dashboard Or you can create a new order. So from here, this one is the dashboard, and here we can choose a product. So you can see the price vendor, and you can see the description of the product, total price, and from here we can provide suggestion for the product, like notes. If you are allergic to certain ingredients, or uh, you can provide suggestion like extra cheese. This product and can add this product to cart. So now we can see the order, the placed order, and from here it is possible to increase the quantity and get the note here, total price, and from here we can place the order. Okay, now we can see a uh, tag here that is the product is ordered. And if you want to delete the order, you can delete from here. So you can see user is Michelin admin and you can see the user's office and you can see total amount in account. Then here under lunch, we can also see my orders order history, the Michelin admin user's order history and my account history. So when you open, uh, you can see the uh, orders which is crewed by order date and my orders. So you can see the total price, the detail of order. And from here, if you haven't confirmed the order, you can confirm it from here or cancel the order. 
then you can view uh, account history of the user so you can see the date description of product the total amount that is you can find the purchase amount and total amount spent okay then here under manager you can view today's orders so managers can create vendors manage cash flow and control accounts so here we can see today's orders which is filtered by vendor and today today's date then manager can control vendors so uh, this allows manager uh, to manage more than one vendor so can control the vendor for each product and a user if not satisfied with the vendor can configure a new vendor from here then manager can control accounts so you can see for mishlebin mark demo uh, user the total amount uh, can be managed by vendor by manager and manager can also view the cash moves so he can track cash moves so manager uh, can check cash moves in the dashboard as given below the description amount and date can be viewed here so you can create new cash moves by providing the username and the amount so and can provide description and save it so in this way you can create uh, more cash moves from here so using the system payment tracking can be done and price management can also be done so that's all about lunch module in odo 40 if you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any odo implementation or customization in your business drop your request to odo@cyprocess.com